distributive property, Alashma. King Money Lust values gold and jewels above all else. One day, the king's first steward brought him five gold bars and one precious diamond. His second steward entered the court, also bringing the king five gold bars and one precious diamond. Well, Money Lust's third steward, never one to be a trailblazer, followed suit. In he came with five gold bars and one precious diamond. Because Money Lust is a busy guy and hardly has time to sit around and count all of his riches, well, is there a shortcut he can use to determine how many he has of each item? Oh, you betcha. Because we're dealing with three occurrences of the same data, we can write it this way. 3 times 5G plus D, where G stands for a gold bar, and the 5 that multiplies the G stands for the amount of gold total, and the D stands for duh, or, or, or diamond. Well, the stuff in parentheses represents what each steward presented to the king. Five gold bars and a diamond. And because there were three of them, we can multiply the whole thing by three. Well, to simplify this expression, we can use distributive property. In other words, whatever is on the outside of the parentheses, we can multiply by each term on the inside of the parentheses. So we get three times 5G equals 15G and 3 times 1D equals 3D. 3D. So we can rewrite the expression as 15G plus 3D. There we go. Money Lust was a tad displeased when he realized that his stewards had only brought him 15 gold bars and 3 precious diamonds. He punished them by forcing them to solve this problem.